So that was the origin of twister theory. Well, it, I, we, the occasion that I'm talking about here was a particular occasion, which was maybe, the, in a sense, the most significant thought which I had had, which was, well, there was an event, you see, a unfortunate, very unfortunate event when, St when, uh, when uh, Kennedy was assassinated. And this was in 1963, and it was in Dallas. And my Dallas colleagues, including Wolfgang Rindler and, and uh, Ivor Robinson and other people there, the Oschwarz, Pichta Oschwarz was there, and they were at a dinner. And they, Kennedy was supposed to go at Cohen and give a talk at this dinner. And he was awfully late. And they, and they sort of joked, well, maybe somebody shot him. Somebody had shot him. It was just about a week later, I think, when we decided to go to so southern Texas to go to a nice place where there was a beach and people could relax and try and recover from this awful occasion. And, uh, and do some math. And I remember coming back and most of the people wanted to talk gossip with each other including my then wife i wasn't interested in the gossip i just wanted some peace i was <laughs> i was the one who was committed more more uh, committed to be in the car driven by Pishta Ashvat. Now the thing about Pishta Ashvat, he was a Hungarian who did speak English, but he didn't like to speak even in Hungarian. I think he, he didn't like speaking. He was a silent person. He was the the, the Hungarian Dirac. Yes, and uh, he, he was the driver of the car that I came. And so this was very nice for me because I didn't have to make up conversation to speak to him. He preferred not to have conversation. So I think to myself, I knew about this Robinson congruence of rays, which sort of describe a, a light ray, but in a, which has been displaced in this way. And I said, the thing to do is to count, and I thought I didn't say anything, to count the number of degrees of freedom this configuration has. How much freedom does it have? And I counted them, and it has six degrees of freedom. And that's significant because? Yes, this is very significant, because light rays themselves have five degrees of freedom. So it's only one. You make your light ray complex in this sense, and you only drop your dimensionality by one. It's not really what you do if you're complex every other light. We five complex dimensions. No, no. This only gives it, drops it by one. Why is that so important to me? Because this gives me a picture 